2001, Wang on Midnight. After this installment success in arcades, Genki later released the game on PlayStation 2 and later even PlayStation 3. The game's main feature was a story mode in which you could compete against NPCs until you're beaten by one or complete all 8 stages. Even for its time, many people say that the last race was the hardest challenge they faced in all their gaming history. <laughs> 2002 Wangan Midnight R Released just 8 months after the first game, this game didn't bring too much improvement. What it brought however still got the fanbase excited beyond imagination. Unlike in the first game, you could drive the NPC's cars once you've beaten them, including the Devil Z, which is the hero car from the anime. 2004 Wangan Midnight Maximum Tune Similarly to Initial D's arcade stage, Maximum Tune became the flagship of the franchise's gaming division. The name referred to the new Maximum Tuning memory cards, which were inserted into the cabinets and were able to hold over 50 playthroughs of different players and store all data. This game's success was very limited even at its time, because releasing an arcade cabinet game as late as 2004 didn't pay off. 2005, Wangan Midnight Maximum 2 and 2. Improving the number of cars you could select from 17 to 25, this game didn't bring much new stuff to the family. The main improvement that came with this release was multiplayer, as you could now play in 4 rather than just 2. Overall, a very FIFA like release this one. 2007, Wangan Midnight Maximum 2 and 3. This game runs on Namco's N2 hardware, a slight improvement from the previous games and other than that, you guessed it, instead of 25 cars to choose from, you get 34. Overall the game stayed the same with an addition of a new game mode called Alter Ego Battle Mode. Here an alternate version of your personal car was created and you were just thrown in there to race against it. A pretty cool idea. 2007 Wangan Midnight. The Maximum Tune series is interrupted by the release of this jewel right here. If your attention spans more than 2 minutes, you might remember that this game is the already mentioned PlayStation 3 release of the previous game. Since all the Maximum Tune games were still in arcade cabinets, this one stood out and even the average kid could afford to play it later on. 2008 Wangan Midnight Maximum Tune DX and here we go down the Apple-like rabbit hole that was created way before Apple did it. As much as I've tried to look for differences between this game and the regular Maximum 2 and 3, the only thing I found was that you now get 38 cars to choose from instead of 34. That's literally it. 2010 Wangan Midnight Maximum 2 DX Plus. Yes, this is exactly what I was talking about. Barely any difference between the releases, just a bland remix of the previous game. But guess what? Instead of 38 cars, there's 40! This was the last Maximum Tune to be released in the United States until the release of Maximum Tune 5. 2011 Wangan Midnight Maximum Tune 4. We finally move on from the number 3, but some people say that age is just a number and while I don't agree with that, you could say that number is just a number because apart from having 53 cars to pick instead of 40, almost nothing's changed. But to be fair, the story mode has been revamped a bit, from 100 stages to 60, and the graphics got an upgrade too. 2014, Wangan Midnight Maximum Tune 5. Finally, we can see some more major changes in the release. First of all, they added something called Extreme VS, or Versus. This is a game mode where all the indicators are hidden, so you don't know what's coming up. All the tracks are run backwards, so it's not as easy to learn, and the distance to the finish line is random and not shown to you, so it might be just behind the turn or it could be an hour long race. Now that sounds like an interesting mode. Apart from this, there are major improvements to story mode and the 10 car race mode. Also, 71 selectable cars, can't forget about that. They added more foreign car makers like BMW, Dodge or Mercedes. 
2015, Wangan Midnight Maximum Tune 5DX. Oh boy, oh boy, here we go again. This game bumps the selectable card count up to 84, and, and that's probably it. There's a new interface, but only in the Asian version. So, yeah, full FIFA mode. Twenty sixteen, Wang Gun Midnight Maximum Tune Five DX Plus. The only change this game provides is in the car count. There's a new car manufacturer available, Lamborghini, which I'm surprised they haven't added before. I would imagine Lambos are great for top speed highway races. The selectable car warehouse has expanded all the way up to an unbelievable number of eighty eight. That's four more than the previous game, and honestly, these DXs and DX pluses were only good for the new cars. But if you're only gonna add four. Then why even bother, honestly? 2018, Wangan Midnight Maximum Tune 6. This game finally adds some more new stuff, so let's take a look at it together. First of all, let's get the car count out of the way, it's 88. Now the new stuff. There's a new multiple ghost race mode, where instead of racing a ghost car of your personal best, you can race up to three ghosts. Yeah, I don't get that either, but it sounds like an interesting concept, honestly. Also, a 100 stage story mode makes a return from Maximum Tune 3DX Plus. And the last thing, the horsepower cap goes up from 830 to 840. 2020, Wangan Midnight Maximum Tune 6R. And we're back at it, ladies and gentlemen. The car count increases up to 90 and the game is only released in Japan due to COVID. All the other versions, including the Asian one, are cancelled for the time being and later on released as... Twenty Twenty One Wangan Midnight Maximum Tune 6RR Bumping the car count by a single car to 91, this is the international release of Maximum Tune 6R. What are the improvements in this game, you ask? Well, there are actually some new interesting features, so let's go over them quickly. Bingo challenge, Wangan tournament, or something called Versus Trial Race, only released in Oceania and Asia. Also, the highest class a car could achieve went up from SSSSS to SSSSSS. That's five S's to six S's. Oh my god. 